2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Wimmer waits. Here it comes. There's a drive into left center field. It's going to be caught on the run. To get that first strike. Pitch on the way. It is down low for ball four. Two out walk. Pitch on the way. Right in there for a strike. Nothing wrong with that pitch. Inner half. Two, and you know you're throwing over to a guy with his height. There's a bouncer up the middle. Nobody's going to get that one. Not hit very hard, but the perfect spot. Almost hit the second base bag. Throw over. Oh, I believe he got him, and he did get him. He is picked off. Well, they kept him close, all right. Pitch on the way. He is high and outside for ball four. Pitch on the way. He is chopped to short. Wimmer's going to have it. He's going to run to the bag for out number three. Pitch on the way. There's a line drive into right field for the base hit. So first hit for the Gamecocks comes in the fourth inning. There's a bouncer to second. Could be two. To short for one on the first double play. A couple of strikeouts. There's a shot into right center field. See if he can get two out of this. He's got good speed for a catcher. He is going to try it with two outs, and he is going to get in there. A sliding double. That's a good job of taking that pitch the other way, just like Wimmer did. Throw one or not. High pop-up into short right field. Under it out there is Ferry. Comes the pitch. There's a line drive into right field for a base hit. Good job by Blackwell that time. Just hitting it where it's pitched. Runner going. Pitch is sky. That's going to be trouble. Looks like the right fielder. Petrie is going to dive, and he can't make the play. Looks like he lost it in the sun. Tiger's going to have him at second and third. And a long, long wide throw. And a great catch over there by Lee Croy at third base. Lee Croy at third's even, but everyone else is back. Line drive, center field, base hit. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. And just that quickly, Clemson has grabbed a 2-0 lead in this ball game. 460 or 470 last night. There's a line drive into right field for another base hit. Runner's going to stop at second base. All of a sudden, with Clemson having one hit coming into this fifth frame, here's Bertram. He's bunting and he got hit. The ball hit him. Boy, the wheels have just come off for Noah Hall. Pitch on the way. There's a bouncer too short. Wimmer's got it. He's going to step on the bag, throw to first in time for a double play. Run will score. Pitch on the way. Off the end of the bat, flared into left field. Looks like Denny's got a beat on it, and he makes a catch. Pitch, and he hit him on the knee. Ooh, that had the heart. It's a pitch. There's a chopper in the left field for a base hit. Wimmer may be held here. Yes, he will be. The left fielder out there wasn't playing very deep. That's Will Taylor, the 0-1. There's a high drive towards fairly deep center field. Canarella going back. It's drifting. It's drifting, and he drops the ball. So the Gamecocks going to have at least one run in. And down at second base is Ethan Petrie, the freshman. And it's now a three-to-one ball game, second and third for Carolina. Can't play anywhere except to the pitcher. And it's high for ball four at 92. So the bases are loaded for Tal Lecroy from just down the road. On the other side. There's a line drive in the left field for a base hit. It's a three-to-two ball game, and Wingo is going to send him. Here comes a throw. It's way off target. Tal Lecroy has delivered a tying two-run single for South Carolina. Three runs apiece. Cassis is in at second. Pitch is low for ball four. They are loaded again. There's a chopper to the third baseman. He's going to come home, and he got him. Throw to first is going to be bluffed by the catcher. So that's a big pitch and a big out on the fielder's choice. Pitch on the way. There's a fly ball towards left field, but is it going to carry? And it's a nice catch leaping out there in front of the pitch. There's a line drive in the center field for a base hit. He threw him a breaking ball, but he threw it right down the middle. And at 0-2, Ferry has a base hit. Boy, that one hurts. That quietens it down a little bit when you do that. And he bunts it, and it's a good one. Looks like Becker's going to, and he can't make the play. Kind of kicks it. Pitch. There's a bouncer towards right field, and it's going to get in there for a base hit. Here comes the throw home, and it's going to be not in time. 
Great job, Matthew Becker. He just saved the run for the Gamecocks. Backing up the play at home plate, but pitch on the way. Fastball is high and outside. Here it comes. There's a fly ball down the right field side. It's going to drop in. It's going to roll to the corner. The Tigers are going to have one run in, two runs in, and they'll stop the runner at third base, second and third. He just kind of went the other way, didn't hit it all that hard. Had kind of a big loop to it there, but, boy, and the way Petri was playing, he was playing shallow, and he was playing straight away right field. He didn't have a chance to get that ball, and Clemson trying to break it open here in the seventh inning. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball is hit to the second base. McGillis is going to come home, but his throw is low. It gets away from Messina. <clears throat> Tigers are going to have him at second and third. Blackwell waits the pitch. Swing and a miss at a ball in the dirt. Gets away from Messina. Going to throw him out at first base to complete the strikeout. Maybe one or two a team. There's a swing and a miss at a ball in the dirt. Messina thro throws to first to complete the strikeout. And... As it turns out, Matthew Becker struck out the side. Pitch on the way. There's a line drive in the right field for a base hit. Kind of hits the dirt as it was passing the first baseman, Grice, over there. So Wimmer starts it off again for Carolina by getting on base. Score to run. There's a chopper out to the shortstop. It bounces off his glove. Now he's going to throw back behind Wimmer. Well, that'll be an error. Messina is so fast, he was going to have to hurry to get him anyway. 3-1 pitch. He did. That was in the right field for a base hit. Messina is going to stop there at second base. So another run batted in for the freshman, Ethan Petri, as Wimmer crosses the plate. And here come the Gamecocks. Stretching the pitch. Is just inside. Boy, that looked, <laughs> that looked good from here. But Cassis walks. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball is skied towards right field. Going over there is Ferry. He is going to make the catch barely in fair territory. It's going to be a run for Carolina on the sack fly. So another run batted in for Tal Lecoy. That's four in this series for that young man from Belton. One-two pitch. There's a high drive towards right center field. Let's see if it's going to have enough. It is going to be out of here. It is out of here. Carson Horning has hit a three-run blast down in the count. Hit that ball a country mile. I think it might have gotten off the scoreboard in right center. A three-run blast, and Carolina leads this game by a score of 8-7. to seven. And this place has erupted. Well, Coach, he got all of that one. He got all of that one. And it was uh, probably the first pitch down in the zone so many times to lead to runs. Down low for ball four. Do you believe that? There's a high pop-up. That one's out in short left field. Looks like Petrie's got a beat on it. He falls down, but he makes the catch. Holy smokes. Coach Tolman and I didn't miss those to go hear him talk. And he hit him. Wimmer's got hit again. Let's hope he's okay. Boy, his wrist, nine games. There's a high drive towards left field. Going back out there is Will Taylor, and it is off the monster, and he falls down, and looks like Braylon Wimmer is going to score. What a big hit to the opposite field by Caleb Denny. The Gamecocks lead this game 9-7. to seven. Here's the pitch. There's a high drive. That ball is way back. That ball is going to be off the roof of the building beyond the green monster. Cole Messina has just hit one a country mile, a two-run blast, and South Carolina leads this game by a score of 11-7. to seven. Oh, my goodness, he hit that ball. Off one of those top bricks of the building, the New York Life building, beyond the monster and beyond the stands behind the monster. Yeah, Almost made it to the top of the roof. What a blow. Gamecocks lead this one by four. 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three call at the knees on the inside corner. Grice didn't like it. Grice and he has been tossed. tossed out of the game by Greg Street. Boy, what a big break right there. That means Caden Grice ain't playing tomorrow. He knows better than that. You can't draw, and that's what Eric Back mm. is just saying. Come on. Yeah, he was very demonstrative with his bat drawing a line down yeah, there. You can't do that, and you get ejected as a player. You're out in the next game. So there's your two-hole hitter for game three tomorrow going. Pitch on the way. He is way outside for ball four. 
Pitch is a drive towards left center field. I don't know if anybody's going to get that one. They are not. It one hops the wall. Firing it in there is, in there is Tippett, the center fielder, and the Tigers have met second and third. Boy, those walks will bite you. High pop-up on the infield on the changeup. Looks like Lecoy is going to make the catch. He falls on the pitching rubber. That's the last thing you want. There's a bouncer to left field for a base hit. That is going to plate one. It's going to plate two. And the Gamecocks now lead only 11 to nine. So what an at-bat there from Will Taylor. Pitch on the way. Is inside for ball four. This game just will not end. One ball, two strikes to Abrams. The pitch. There's a bouncer towards second. McGillis has it. He throws him out, and the Gamecocks have won this game. Mm-hmm. <laughs>